the event in, in Virginia had nothing whatsoever to do with race. And one citizen journalist approaches uh, one of the black demonstrators there, and he asked him, he said, I heard all these media reports that this was a white supremacist rally. So are you, sir, a black man, a white supremacist? Here's his answer. Are you a white supremacist? Yeah. Am I a white supremacist? I, I was told there'd be this white supremacists. This ain't me, I got dreads. Oh wow, you are, you're, you're really are blackface. Like. <laughs> <laughs> United we stand, yeah, That's brother. right, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah. United we stand. But they mad because it wasn't no civil unrest. Now they gonna be mad because it wasn't no fight. Now they gonna be mad because then nobody get locked up. They gonna be mad because all the officers is at peace. They gonna be mad because ain't nobody out here fighting. They mad, but guess what? United we stand. That's what this was about. That's right, brother. I'm from St. Louis, and I ain't even had to bring no weapon. Don't need no weapon. Don't none of us need no weapon, but we got them. We got it. We back. got them. We got each other back. Why? Because United we stand. That's what it's about. That's right. Amen. United we stand. That's right, bro. That's right. White, black, Hispanic, Latino, here, Mexican, whatever. <laughs> United we stand. They not finna make this no communist state. They not finna make us no felons. They not finna turn off law enforcement officers against us just because y'all on some nonsense. I love this guy. You know, obviously he's speaking very casually here, but there's a lot of insight in what he's saying. He's saying they're going to be really mad that there's not violence here. They're going to be really mad that there's not division here. They're going to be really mad that there's not hatred here. That's what they've been trying to gin up all week. But united we stand. And what are we standing united behind? Our constitution, our shared culture, our shared country, because we're all, all fellow countrymen here. Really beautiful stuff. I love it. He says, we don't even need weapons. We don't need them right here, but we got them. <laughs> and that's kind of the point. We don't need weapons. I don't pack a gun every place I go and I'm like armed to the hilt all the time. No. The reason that I don't feel that I have to be is because we do have the right to keep and bear arms. The very fact that the individual in America has the right to keep and bear arms is a wonderful protection against tyranny. It's a wonderful protection of our life and our liberty and our property and the loved ones around us. And because we have that right, we don't need to be so worried about it all the time. We just have to protect that freedom. The media were mad. They were mad. They went mad, not even just in the sense that they were angry. They went mad in the sense that they went insane. NBC News reporter Ben Collins, he ended up, to his credit, deleting a completely baseless tweet alleging that the demonstration was a white supremacist rally. Here's what he said. Reporters covering tomorrow's white nationalist rally in Virginia, I'm absolutely begging you, Verify information before you send it out tomorrow. Even if it's a very sensational rumor you heard from a cop, don't become a hero in neo-Nazi propaganda circles with made-up stuff. Now, I love this tweet. This tweet, to me, sums up the entire mainstream media, which is a sanctimonious, sneering sort of advice to fellow Americans, and, and in this case, fellow elites, proving the point that he thinks he's making and proving the point with him as the butt of the joke. <laughs> he's like, D I'm begging you, do not tweet out baseless information and completely made up stuff tomorrow at the neo-Nazi Hitler lover rally. He's like, buddy, it's a Second Amendment rally. You, you did it. You're the one doing it. Not just him, at least to his credit, Ben Collins deleted the tweet, but the whole rest of the mainstream media did too. Another NBC News correspondent, Gabe Gutierrez, tweeted out a video of the rally. And, and what he wrote with, next to the video was, chance of we will not comply from gun rights protesters in Richmond. So I said, oh, okay, well, fair enough. I mean, if someone tries to take away my basic constitutional rights, I certainly won't comply with that. But let's just see, because I don't believe a word that these people say anymore. Let's just see what they're actually chanting. And I clicked the play button, and this is what I heard. See if you can make it out. Of 
All right, I didn't hear a whole lot of we will not comply there. What I heard was the Pledge of Allegiance. But I'm not surprised that the mainstream media couldn't recognize the Pledge of Allegiance. I assume they haven't heard it and certainly haven't said it in many, many years. That was the tip of the iceberg, okay? Only the mainstream media were surprised that the event yesterday went off very well because the mainstream media believe that only nuts own guns. They think it's only lunatics who own guns. But think about this. In a standoff, in a peaceful demonstration between people defending the Constitution and lawless legislators trying to run roughshod over people's basic civil rights, which group do you think is more likely to behave lawlessly? The ones defending the Constitution or the ones trying to shred the Constitution? Obviously, the Second Amendment defenders are the ones who are going to behave according to the law. They're the ones who are going to behave appropriately. And it's going to be the lawless legislators. It doesn't matter if they're, they were elected to office and they can write laws. They can behave lawlessly, often more lawlessly than the rest of us. They're the ones who are going to try to gin up a bunch of division and tension. Hey, Michael Knowles here. And the fact is, a life of cigars and scotch does not come cheap. So please be sure to subscribe to The Daily Wire on YouTube because I depend heavily on your support to continue this wonderful lib-triggering life. Thanks.